Hello and welcome to Siebel Volatility 411. My name is Dan Deming and I'm a KKM Financial. Well, we're seeing a second day of selling pressure here on the SPX. And with that, we're seeing uh, the VIX pushing up. Selling pressure intensifying here in midday and the VIX cash up around 38, 39-ish. Uh, we did see a low of 30.54 in the VIX cash a couple of days ago. And that's the lowest level on the VIX cash going back to March Third, So coming off basically two month lows in the VIX cash as we see the selling pressure pushing the cash higher at the end of the week. Realized volatility, I want to point that out. Now, a uh, 2.5% move on any given day over the next 30 days as a general rule of thumb would imply a VIX of 40. Seeing a VIX of 38 here between 38 and 39, basically you're seeing implied volatility mimicking realized volatility at these current price levels given the price movement of the SPX. Looking at um, the roll market, we're seeing about 80 cents of negative roll in that uh, coming in today as we're seeing volatility being pushed towards the front end of the curve to be expected. And it is interesting that we are now seeing all the VIX futures below the cash level at this point. So we are seeing a change in that dynamic. Looking at BVIX, measure implied volatility in the VIX options. That's about uh, 122, up from 114. So we are seeing demand for VIX options picking up as we move towards the weekend. Strikes today activity, May 25 puts, uh, about 19,000 of those are traded. Interesting, it's on the put side. And then you go to August 28 calls, about 8,000 of those are traded. Now, August future 32 half, we're seeing those calls are about $4.5 in the money. Looking at um, next week, I want to point out that we got a few factors. Economic activity, hopefully coming back online, at least the market's anticipating something there from a state level. Focus on that. Also, this trade situation will continue to unfold. I think the market's concerned about that. That could lead to further volatility next week. Earnings will continue to be digested, and the market will have to work through that, and also possibly expectations moving forward. Fourth thing, data points highlighted by unemployment at the end of the week. So those are the things I think will influence the vol structure moving into the second week in May.